Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another tutorial about Notepad++. Today we are going to look into Notepad++ indentation settings. Now let's take an example of an HTML file here. As you look at this particular HTML file, there is no indentation in this file. It's pretty hard to actually read through this file because every line, and the text in every line, starts right at the beginning. Now usually we would like to indent our code and so we like something like this. You know we would like to indent even these body block and then under title we will indent something like this and a little more. <clears throat> so yeah as we indent, it is much easier to read through this HTML file and not just HTML, but any kind of a source code file that you may be working with. And so how do we actually configure indentation settings in Notepad++? So first of all, let's just look at how we can change these settings and we'll go through each of these questions. So let's see how we can configure indentation settings. So first of all, you need to go to Settings, Preferences, and on this left bar, you need to go to Languages or Language. Now, it's kind of hard to find these uh, settings, but it's right here, Tab Settings. And so I set it as default. And the tab size, which means that each tab will contain four spaces uh, when, when I press Tab. Uh, to indent any text, it will be basically for the length of four spaces. Now that is kind of too big. Usually, uh, the normal practice is to set it to two, uh, and so you can click on tab size and press two and press enter, and it will be basically set to two. Now, again, it depends upon what the coding guidelines are. For, for your particular team or or the, the project that you guys are working on. But usual setting of tab size of two is a pretty reasonable option. Now while we are here, let's actually take a look at uh, just just the, the tab setting. So so we'll we'll move this a little bit and let's go back to basic.html. And as I had intended uh, just you know a few minutes ago let's take a look at what exactly is in here so the one way to show the the symbols is by going to this icon right here which which says show all characters right so let's click on this and it will show us all the characters including carriage returns line feed but if you look at right here each tab is uh, the uh, the one that we are looking at is a tab setting and how do I know that is by looking at it it is usually a, 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 an arrow and that means it is a tab now if I copy this file or, or if I would like to share this HTML file with my colleague and if his tab setting is set to 4 all the changes that I made might look different in his computer or his, uh, you know, text editor. And so usually it is a pretty good practice to replace the tab settings by space. So when once I click on this, you will see what, what will happen here. So I'm going to click replace, click close. And uh, actually I can go to edit and go to blank operations and I would say every tab needs to be space so as you can see what happened here is every tab that I had was replaced by two spaces now if I share this file to anybody it should be fine because it will always have the same in, out or uh, same uh, view as what I'm seeing here I'm going to uncheck this show all characters and now I can see that there is uh, there is an indentation which is basically spaces there right 
So let's save this. So that's the first part of this uh, tutorial, how to configure indentation settings. As I said, it is a ba uh, best practice to replace tab by space uh, because it will make honestly make your life much easier uh, because as you modify a particular piece of code, you might end up putting some tabs and some spaces and it might behave differently uh, later on. And so it is better to just replace it with space and then you will know that anytime I press tab, it will always have a, a space. Again, if I check this quickly, you can see that every time I press tab on my keyboard, it actually is adding two spaces to it. All right, so let's do undo and go back to our set, uh, our a list of things that we would like to achieve in this video. All right, so we just saw how to configure indentation settings by settings, preferences, language, and settings right here. I set the uh, tab size to be two. All right, so Let's go to the next question. Now, now that I have set my indentation setting, how do I make sure that there is always an auto indent in Notepad++? Now, what do I mean by that? Now, let's take a look at this one, this line. If I press enter, you see the the, uh, the cursor or the, the my pointer sort of thing went right here instead of going all the way here. So it was able to auto indent uh, based upon my file or based upon what I had in previous line. And so that is called auto indent. And the setting for that usually Notepad++ comes with checked uh, auto indentation. But the setting for that is go to settings, preferences, and this time we are going into auto completion. And there's right here, you can see there's check mark for auto indent. So it is already set to true. And that is the reason why I, uh, the, the indentation was automatic. Let's just check whether it, if I uncheck what will happen. So I'll uncheck this and I'll go press enter. And I know if, did you notice that the, the cursor or the start went all the way at the beginning instead of auto indenting? And so let's go back and ch change back to the original setting, which was under auto completion and auto indent and click close. Now, if I go back, as you can see, it is able to auto indent. So again, this is a default setting in Notepad++, so you won't need to change it, but uh, it is always good to know that, that there is a setting for that, all right? So that is how you can do auto indent in Notepad++. The next question we would like to answer is, how do I indent multiple lines? Now, let's go back to our, uh, our HTML file that we were trying to work on. Now, Let's look at this unordered list. Uh, now, I would like to indent all of these list items into another, you know, two spaces here. Now, either I can do like this, and, you know, every line I can manually add tab to it, or I can actually select all the, the lines that I want to indent, select them, and just press tab. And if you notice, it was able to indent all those lines in a with a two spaces. Now, we know how to increase the indent. What about decreasing? What if, let's say I do one more, and I realize, well, I didn't need to do two indents or two tabs, we just need one. So you can do the same kind of a settings. You can this time to decrease the indentation, you need to press shift tab, shift and tab key. So I'm going to press shift and tab. And as you can see, it actually is able to indent back and tab will take, increase the indentation. Now, if you're not a keyboard 
shortcut person there is an option you can go to add it there is an indent and right here indent line increase or decrease and it does the same thing as we were trying to do with the keyboard shortcut but keyboard shortcut makes it much easier and uh, once you once you remember for a while it just becomes a second nature you don't need to remember these keyboard shortcuts so i'm going to de indent and it looks like this and so this will work for any any file that you would like to indent so if i go back here let's say this are the three lines that i want to indent i can press tab and as you can see it just did that if i want to un or decrease it i do shift tab all right now the next question is how to show indentation guidelines now let's go back to our uh, our practice code and as you see this this particular uh, file every time i add a tab there is these lines that show up and these are called indentation guidelines and it basically gives you just a quick guideline of you know how well aligned your code is for example if i have something like this then i know that well this header block doesn't seem to be aligned right and i can remove this and i can do this so these are called indent guidelines and it's basically for just as the name suggests just guiding you uh, to to see the indentation now because our tab size was 2 every time there are two spaces there will be an indentation line show up so for example let's look at this order list if i press tab you will see that there will be a indent line show up here and you, you can see it's right here right so is there a way to to uncheck these uh, if it is too distracting usually you won't even notice it but maybe you don't need it well there is an option uh, there's an icon right on the toolbar uh, if you look at this uh, show all character right next to it it says show indent guide now it is checked right now and that is why we are seeing this indent guides if i uncheck this or if i click on that uh, if you notice here it will disappear right and so again it is a, a it gives a good guide to uh, to a developer uh, about different indentation in the file uh, a good practice is to keep it on uh, so that you know exactly how how your code is indented but you can check or uncheck this option is also available under edit uh, and i think actually it's under view sorry view show symbol and right here it is checked if i click on that it will go away and i can enable it all right so the next part is how notepad plus plus indentation settings help in code folding now again going back to our sample code here as we see that as we adding as we are adding different indentation you know there is this minus or almost like a fold kind of a setting shows up here so what are those well you can actually fold these code using these uh, these blocks or these uh, you know squares that we are looking at so if i click on here as you can see it actually closed the title uh, block these this entire it just hides it uh, same with the body if i click on this the whole body block will be uh, actually folded and i can check or uncheck uh, then it will unfold or fold the this whole block same thing with if i want to hide the header block i can click on this square and it will it will just hide them so this is pretty handy if you're working on a really large file and you just want to keep you know your uh, notepad plus plus cleaner uh, you can just unfold or fold different blocks and that will help you to easily work on a particular part of the code for example i can do something like this 
and now if I want to work on header only I just click on that work on it some some more and unf or fold it and then go back to body section and so on and so these indentation guides not only just looks good but it also allows you to fold or unfold the entire piece of code now if you don't remember how to do these there is also another option under view and if you go under view that is a fold all unfold all and and you can even collapse or uncollapse at a different level now this in itself is another you know topic but it just is handy to know that you can do these these things okay so going back to here uh, we spend a lot of time today in different indentation settings we learn how to configure indentation settings we set the tab settings to two and also we all uh, replace you know all the tabs with spaces and we also learn how we can auto indent which it's a default setting in notepad plus plus and we also learn how you can use tab or a shift tab to increase the indentation or decrease indentation and we also learn what are these indent guides and the keyboard shortcut uh, or uh, the icon right here to enable or disable that and finally we looked how we can actually use these indentation settings to fold or unfold our, co our code and so that's about it for these uh, this tutorial on notepad plus plus indentation settings if you guys made it to this far i hope you like this video uh, if you like this then please click on the like button and please subscribe to my channel to get videos like these and if you have any comments please uh, add that in the comment section thank you